Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I want to talk about or continue talking about Zoho Desk. And specifically in today's video, I want to talk about how to ingest tickets from social media and also how to ingest tickets from live chat. So the neat thing about Zoho Desk and Zoho One in general is it integrates with a lot of stuff, right? So if someone's messaging on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and you want to pull that into a ticket and communicate with them through DMs, you can do that through Zoho Desk. Even further, if someone's live chatting on your website asking for support, and you can't help them with live chat, you can send it into desk. So in today's video, I'm going to go through both of those, how to set them up, how to use it, and some tips and tricks. As always, please join my office hours. I love meeting you guys there. There's more and more people coming. The link is below. Also, please like and comment and subscribe. We're constantly putting out new content, and I'd love to hear what you think about our current content. See you in the video. All right, so let's get into it. So when you first log into Desk, there's two things you're gonna to wanna to do. Number one is go to the social media tab. So you can see that on the left. So you hit settings in the top right, the gear icon, then you're gonna hit social. When you first land here, there will be a button to add a brand, right? And so when you go through that, if you hit new brand, you can see that basically I've already added one, but it'll pop up and say, what do you wanna connect with? And it's going to ask you to connect with your Facebook as an example. When you do that, it's then gonna ask you your username and password. It might do a two-factor authentication. And then once you're integrated with your Facebook, it'll give you a page like this. And so when you're integrated with that Facebook, as you probably know, Facebook owns Facebook and Instagram and Twitter also allows you to connect. So you can quickly just add the plus button once you're connected and it'll pop up your Facebook. It'll ask you to sign in and then it'll choose or it'll ask you which brand you wanna log in with or which page. So if you're the manager of your company page in some way, you'll be able to choose it. Same thing goes for Instagram, th same thing goes for Twitter. Twitter will ask you to log in, it'll ask you what brand. Facebook will ask you to log in, it'll ask you what brand. So that's the main step of setting up the integration. Now to take that even further, I'm gonna hop into my CRM and you can see here, here are some recent posts from one of our brands. So you can see the feed coming in. Some of these are tweets. You can go to the Facebook feed and see all the Facebook comments. And so you can see here, we're posting stuff. Now let's say someone comments on one of these, right? So if someone put a comment, not many comments on these ones, but if someone put a comment, you can simply click here and you can add it as a ticket or you can comment back. Right? And so you can see here, you can comment back. If someone, for example, if you wanna make this post into a ticket, you can click here and convert it into a ticket. If someone private messages you, again, you can always create it as a ticket. And what this will allow you to do is it will actually feed into the ticket bank right here. So it'll go into the tickets and you can actually respond to someone through that ticket bank and it'll go into the DM. So this is a great way to keep track of all your tickets, have them all in one place. So same thing goes for the Instagram, same thing goes for the Twitter, direct messages and the Instagram feed, right? So anytime someone does something on your feed, you can then create it into a ticket or a DM. Now you cannot do this for Facebook groups or pages at this point, or sorry, groups. So if you make a group on Facebook and you invite a bunch of people, unfortunately, currently, you cannot bring it in as a ticket. So this is how you integrate the social media. And it's a really handy feature. I would encourage all of you to do this at the very least just to see what's going on. But you can really start converting a lot of these conversations into tickets. Now let's go into the live chat. So the live chat is a bit more complicated. So there is actually an application called Zoho Sales IQ. You can see it here. When you go into this application, it's actually a separate application. So you need to make sure to turn it on in your Zoho One. So you go to one.zoho.com, add this application into your application bank. But once you're in here, you can hit settings and then you can do a bunch of stuff. So the first thing I'd recommend you doing is creating a brand and a website. And we have a separate video that goes through how to add all of this and add it into your website. I would encourage you and the link will be below to go check that out. But essentially when you're done creating this, you can actually tell it in the integrations, you have to make sure that it's integrated with Zoho Desk. So you're gonna have to connect it to your Zoho Desk account. You're gonna have to do department mapping. So if there's a department inside of your sales IQ, so you have to define a department in sales IQ, call it support. Then you have to make a live chat for that support department, which our video goes through. And then basically if anyone opens up a live chat in that department, you can actually convert it into a ticket in that department. So step one, make the live chat make the department and make the website in sales IQ. Step two, go to this integration mapping and map that department into the Zoho Desk department. And you could have many Zoho Desk departments, right? So you gotta make sure which one it goes into. Now at this point, once you've done that, 
you can actually test out your live chat. So you can see here, we actually have a live chat. And just to show you a live example, I'm gonna go in here. So I am just running a sample of this live chat. So you can see it here, right? So I'll open this up, I'm pretending I'm the user. So I'll open this up, I'll put in Massimo, and then I'll put in the message, right? And I'll hit start. So now what'll happen is on the sales IQ, it'll start ringing. So I can pick it up and this is what your staff will see. And so if you've integrated it with Zoho Desk, you can see here, you can actually click here and check all the old Zoho Desk tickets. If you want, you can click on them and actually go to them. Or at any point you can take over their screen. That's kind of a different conversation. You have all kinds of options here, but when you actually close the ticket, you can actually convert it into a desk ticket. So if I go like this, close, and so what I would encourage you to do before you make this go live is to go into the settings, the integration, Zoho Desk and Desk Configurations, and just check this area too. So you wanna check what chats you wanna create as tickets. So is it all chats? Is it just the missed ones? Is it the operated or the bot ones or none, right? And so you can pick and choose which ones go in. And then when do you wanna convert it? when ending the chat, while answering the chat. And so if you do while answering instead of while ending, it will basically happen sooner, right? And so it really depends on what you're, you're looking for here. You can maybe do while ending, and then you can basically set this as well. What I see a lot of people do is all chats while ending creates a ticket, or just the missed chats create a ticket. It's totally up to you. But the idea here is to get live chats typically if you miss them, to come back into Zoho Desk so you can correspond with them after. So as always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys. I love seeing you in the office hours. Please do come to that. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a little bit of a uh, intense one, but uh, live chat and also social is becoming a very, very popular way to get uh, for people to actually send in tickets. So I'd encourage you to set this up in your system.